Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So today we are going to look at how to install Unified Endpoint Management by Matrix 42. So for that we need to basically install Imperium product. It's called Imperium also. But in short, uh, it's the name of the product is Imperium. But when it comes to the product uh, capabilities, we call it as Unified Endpoint Management 2. Again, it's by Matrix 42. So before we go in the installation process, towards the installation process, you can find all the documentation about it on help.matrix42.com. And if you come over here, under Secure Unified Endpoint Management, you can find Unified Endpoint Management documentations uh, related to different uh, different products are available over here. We are talking about Client Management Imperium. And of course, you need to go for installation and configuration for Imperium over here. All the details will be available to you over here. Uh, we are going to install 20, 23 version, but documentation wise 23 and 22 version has similar. So if you want prerequisite check, system requirements can be found over here. One thing which is very major, of course, SQL Server, all those details are there. But apart from that, you need to make sure that you have the compatibility level set to the respective version. And if you are using SQL Server 2019, you should make sure that it should have cumulative update 2 or the later version. And moreover, you need to download one more component which is very important uh, depending on which OS deployments you will be doing from Imperium. So you need to download a Windows Automated Installation Kit if you are using Windows 7 or 2008 R2 so on. If you are using Windows 8 2012 or later, then we need to use Windows Assessment and Deployment Kit. And the URLs are available over here. I'll try to put it um, in the description of the video also. Apart from that, you have a lot of other uh, system requirements. Um, because it can be different, it can contain different servers or all in one server also. You can install all the components on one, which is called master server, or you can have master or multiple depot server. So depot server is basically to host the packages if you want to uh, deploy it in such environment where you have different sites, you might be exposing the uh, server to internet so that the roaming clients will also be able to get the updates and the packages then we can deploy extra depot server also. So the scalability can happen also and rest of the requirements are available below. All right. So of course to download it you need to go to marketplace.matrix42.com and then from there you will be downloading the Imperium product. Once you have it downloaded, both the components which I have already downloaded, you will have them like this. So you will have Imperium product and you will have Windows Deployment Kit. So basically you will get the Windows Deployment Kit by just downloading this setup and once you will uh, run this it will ask you to download the setup and those files will be stored in folder like this so in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the ADK setup this is one of the prerequisites which we should be doing before installing Imperium product so you see it says install the assessment or download the assessment and deployment kit on a separate computer. Uh, in my case, it is already downloaded. So I am going to go in installer. And you can see I have all the installers available over here for Windows deployment kit. So let's go back, run ADK setup. Okay. Let me just close this, rerun this. Okay. 
and I'm going to install this on one of the drives and if you see in my uh, computer I have two drives B and C both are there so I'm going to install this on D drive Participate in this next except I'll keep it as default install. It will take a little time, of course, to install this, and during the editing, thanks to that, I will skip this whole procedure. So, this Windows and Suspended Deployment Kit does install quite few components. So once they are completed, we are going to go towards the installation of Imperium server. So this is now completed. We'll just close this and we are going to go back to our Imperium server installation. So I will just mount this and I am going to run our auto run application from here. So over here, you just need to choose your respective language. I'm going to go with English. And over here, if you are going to perform, perform an upgrade, update of the previous version, you will choose update. But in my case, I'm going to do the new installation. I click on installation. Installation again. I just need to accept this license agreement, choose the path where I'm going to install it. I just need to provide the details. And the license key, of course, I'm going to fade it out. Click next and that's it. So I had to accept the license agreement. I had to define the path and provide the license key, activation code and that's it. It is going to install Imperium, Imperium 23.0.0 and complete suite will be installed. After that, once this is done, the next step would be the post installation configuration uh, that we are going to cover in the next tutorial and uh, not in the same one otherwise again the tutorial length will become quite long so we'll try to keep it short complete this installation and then the configuration part will be followed by this tutorial for all this complete thing you have each and everything available in your installation guide which is available over here at hub.matrix42.com and you can say installation manual over here all the details what you need to do available over here And it explains what components you need to do and how you need to install it. Once that is done, the next part will be creating the location management database. We keep it as default name. And after that, you will be creating your site database. So if you have multiple sites, you can go for multiple. But there will be a utility called dbutil which we will use to do the uh, we'll do we'll use to create the databases and after database creation once that is done next part will be to do the services installation so based on 
certain pattern criteria we do these service installations um, we are of course going to look at them and after that we can install matrix 42 imperium management console on some other machines but by default on the same server you get it installed uh, as part of the installation and then once that is done we can install software depot also but again as i said that we are going to look into later tutorials and also next thing is which is related to matrix 42 web services that also you can do the installation on the server again this whole installation will take some time so I'm going to skip this whole part and will continue where it is about to get completed so as you can see the installation of matrix 42 imperium imperium completely uh, complete successfully so we'll click on ok over here and as you can see now there are two components uh, what created on the desktop one is management console and another one is matrix 42 db util Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.